Okay. Thanks for meeting with us this morning. Absolutely. John, what can you share about UDOT's role when it comes to any type of debris on the highway? Well, we have maintenance stations throughout the state um, that really are take a, uh, an active role in, in uh, maintaining our roads um, in their area. And so, you know, that, that includes any type of uh, pothole repairs or, or guardrail fixes, anything that happens in terms of maintenance in their area, including litter cleanup and, and things of that nature. But there are different, uh, different agencies that will go out and, and, uh, and help clean up litter and debris, things like that. But, but we definitely take an active role in it as well. Okay. Um, I'm about to go speak with a woman today who had a, a recent scary experience where something came off of, someone was pulling a boat, an item came off the boat, hit her windshield, bent the frame, very scary for her. She, she wasn't hurt, but had she been in the seat next to her, no one else was in the car, it could have been a really bad situation, shattered her windshield. Um, how often are you guys getting reports of debris, items, falling off vehicles are being kicked up that damage vehicles and um, impact people's lives in that way. It happens every day. We respond to about 1,800, um, well, let me say that again in a different way. Uh, it happens every day. Uh, we, we have reports of about 1,800 um, debris-related crashes that happen each year throughout Utah. And, and some of them are of varying degrees, but you know, just like this crash that you just mentioned, I mean, what an incredibly frightening experience. And it's the last thing in the world that you expect to uh, see out there. If it's a couch or, uh, you know, uh, We've had things as small as uh, as um, rocks or anything that get thrown up into uh, the windshield, and it's the last thing in the world that you're expecting when you're traveling at freeway speeds. And so it, it's really frightening, and and there's not a lot of time to react. And uh, you know sometimes if you're traveling at those speeds, if you try to dodge in and out of of lanes, you know the results to uh, to those kind of actions can be can be terrible as well. So. You know, for us, it's really about that educational piece and, and uh, you know, trying to get the word out there to people to properly secure their, their cargo. They're, this is the time of year that people are out boating, people are out uh, camping, and, and, you know, a lot of times people think, hey, I'll save a couple minutes and, and uh, it'll be secure in the back. Um, I don't have to worry about it, but that's rarely the case. We always have to take that extra step. It just takes a couple of extra minutes and, and you know, you can, you can travel with peace of mind. Nobody wants to be responsible for injuring or even killing other people. And that's the chance that you take when you're, when you're driving down the road with an improperly secured uh, cargo. And we've seen that in Utah where people have died with something that's come through their windshield. You've had a close call in your own family, so you yeah. understand why it's so scary. Do you personally feel, and just um, maybe in your role in, with UDOT, yeah. that Utah has a problem with this? Absolutely, we have a problem with uh, litter on the roads, with debris, and you know we've seen we've seen an increase of about 28 percent in the time that our maintenance folks have been out there clearing up litter over the last five years. So uh, that's a remarkable increase. Um, we spend about 2.5 million dollars every year in in terms of litter cleanup on our roads. It's something that's preventable, and it needs to stop. Okay. We got a recent email that someone just seemed to notice a lot of debris, particularly in Utah County. Their comment was, hey, this is a hazard. If someone had to pull off, they would likely flip up debris and cause an accident. There's a marked difference of how clean it is in Salt Lake County compared to Utah County. Uh, any reports that you're seeing specifically in that area? Uh, not specifically to Utah County, but this is a problem all across the state with um, with debris on the on the sides of the road, uh, litter, you know, people that throw out their trash um, and, and don't really think about how it affects other people. It's not only uh, it's not only an ugly sight to see the litter out there, but it's incredibly dangerous because you know these these objects that you throw out your window, you're not thinking that they could become projectiles and and possibly injure injure somebody else or cause damage to to vehicles, and so. It's really, um, you know, it's really in all of our best interest to, to 
find out what we can each do as individuals to properly secure our cargo and and also make a commitment not to not to be a litter bug don't throw uh, don't throw your um, your trash your fast food bags or garbage out the window there's there's a proper place to to uh, take care of those things okay um <clears throat> talk about just one more time the importance of securing your loads yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it's critical. It's critical, especially this time of year. There's so many people that are out there traveling, camping or boating, and it just takes a little bit of extra time to make sure that you're not going to uh, potentially, you know, drop something from your vehicle or, or um, you know, become part of a, part of a, a big problem here with uh, with these type of crashes. Uh, you know, we respond to about 1,800 crashes. I'll say that again because I don't know that we respond to each one of them, but there, there are, uh, you know, we, we have reports of about 1,800 crashes each year that are regarding um, litter or, um, or or caused by debris in the road. And, you know, it's, it, there are things that, that can be avoided. Now, you're going to have, you're going to have uh, certain things that, that just happened. My, my parents were visiting uh, a couple of years ago and they were on their way back to uh, Arizona and they were traveling and there was a, a, a wheel weight that went right through the middle of, um, of them, hitting, shattering their windshield. It was like a bullet. Had that hit one of them, you know, I, I can't even imagine uh, what that would have been like. Um, so, so, you know, it's, it kind of ranges, there, there, there are ranges here. There are, there are those things that are intentional and by intentional, I mean people that just don't take the extra steps to secure their cargo. And then there are things that, that just happen, uh, you know, items that come off of a car or, you know, people are driving and they don't have their windows rolled up and something blows out the window. But, you know, so many of these things are, are uh, preventable by uh, maintenance of your vehicle and, and properly securing your, your, your load. Whatever you're carrying, it needs to be tied down. Um, not necessarily with bungees, but with with ropes that are going to uh, that are going to withstand and not not shift around. And, and so, understand if you're hauling if you're hauling cargo, whether you think it's down the street or um, you know a five minute drive, it's just it's not it's not safe to do that with without having it properly secured. So that could be tarp. It could be a number of different appliances to hold it in place, right? Exactly. Just and, need and, to be sure. Well, and we hear we hear those we hear those excuses all the time that, hey, I was just driving down the road. Um, you know, I'm not going to be going very fast. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. I'll, I'll have somebody watch watch out the back. It's too late if something like that happens. If something comes out of your car, um, you know, then you put yourself at risk too. If you have to stop and and um, you know and, and try to retrieve it from the road, it, it's just a dangerous situation for everyone. We want to keep everyone on our roads safe. I've driven down I-15, seen an item in the road. Yeah. Uh, what do you do if you see something? Should you be calling 911? Uh, yes, I, I mean, if you see a ladder or, you know, we've had couches, we've had all sorts of appliances that that fall off of uh, of the vehicle that, that's, you know, travel, you know, that's, that's hauling them. If you see something big in the road, if you see something that could potentially cause harm to someone else, even if you've gotten around it, call 911, report it right away because, you know, I can't think of a bigger emergency than something that's going to cause a crash. And then let me just ask you, what do you think? Do you think that Utah's, um, there are laws against, um, in place for this to, yeah. you know, have people secure their load. Um, like you mentioned, people will say, I was just going down the street. Do you think if we had stronger legislation, people would be more intentional um, and not so dismissive about loading things down the highway? Uh, potentially, but I think more than anything, I, I don't think people are intentionally setting out to harm anyone else. I think it's just carelessness. I think it's it's um, thinking eh, it's not going to happen to me. I'm uh, I'm just driving, you know, a couple miles. It'll be fine. I think I have it. Um, you know, it's it's in the bed of the truck. It's just carelessness. It's not people that are actually out there trying to be malicious. It's and so I don't know. I don't know if um, you know if if stronger laws would would have a uh, have really an impact because I just think it's people being you know not being mindful of, of the things that they should be focusing on 
Okay, so call and report it if you see it. Anything yeah. else people can do to help? Uh, call and report it, and uh, you know if you see something out on the freeways, it, it's not it's not um, in your best interest to to stop and, and get out and try to retrieve it yourself. Call the professionals because you know on, on the freeways especially, people are people are traveling at speeds that are that are a little bit hard to judge, and and you may think that you have you know, a minute to, to run out there and, and retrieve an item. But, but unfortunately, um, you know, there's been times where people have gone out to do that type of thing and they pay for it. Uh, if you're the one that lost something and yeah. you know, it's there and you call and you report it, what do you do? Do you pull to the side and wait for people to get there to help? If it's on the side of the freeway, call, call right away, but get off, get off on at the next exit because you don't want to, to be on the shoulder of the freeway and sometimes there isn't a great shoulder to pull off to. So you want to make sure that you're out of harm's way and, and report it right away that, that uh, you know, there is that hazard out there. And, and uh, you know, we'll send our incident management team, UHP has their troopers and, and we'll do, uh, you know, they'll do a slowdown for us and, and uh, you know, either one of the agencies can, can go out there and, and retrieve the item. But, you know, it, taking a bad situation and making it worse is, is not the thing you want to do. So you don't want to go out on the freeway and try to retrieve an item because, uh, you know, it, it could be really terrible. Okay. Anything else? No, I don't think so. I, I think it's, it's um, you know, with, with so many of these things these days, um, we talked about road rage, we talked about uh, littering. It, it's it's this personal responsibility. We have to, we have to do these things that, that, um, make us safe as drivers but also we have to look out for other people it's not just about you and me it's about everybody else out on the road and we have a responsibility to to each and every one of us to 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 get home safely and and so you know if you're part of the problem if you're if you're not doing the things to to ensure your safety and the safety of those around you then you really need to look in the mirror and and, and change uh, your driving habits